All right, you guys, and welcome back. It looks like we are getting sound, so everything should be up to par, hopefully. Uh, it's really hard to focus your constant attention. I like to focus my attention right there in the camera as if I'm talking to you guys straight rather than looking off to the side. It's just me. It's more personable that way. Uh, so I apologize for the uh, the technical difficulties and issues here. So hopefully we can get that turnover, uh, that, that traffic back here. If not... I understand um, the annoyance behind it, but uh, anybody that has done enough live streams can definitely understand. Uh, I see it happen oftentimes on a lot of different live streams. It doesn't matter what type of connection you have and so forth, uh, so I can definitely relate and feel the pain. Uh, so well, with that being said, hopefully we shouldn't have any more issues. It looks like uh, everything is resolved at this point. So quick recap here uh, so I don't sound too redundant. The whole basis around this topic and so forth. Uh, we got my wife, Kat Tastic, in the house. How you doing? Um, the whole basis around this is really focusing on something I have felt uh, that we need to do as a community, uh, especially those who want to be involved in a uh, BAP or Breeders of War program. And this is going to be solely and specifically uh, gravitated around live bearing species, not including invertebrates. So I cannot put emphasis on this again. Um, it's just a pet peeve of mine. I do have a lot of them. Yes, I know. Uh, however, with that being said, please read the description uh, and so forth. Uh, and anybody now watching this during the replay or coming in, if you're not into live bearing species or not into uh, something as far as a, it doesn't even have to be necessarily, um, it can be non live bearing species. Uh, just to kind of get uh, a feel for what we're talking about, what we're discussing. This is really, I want the community to get involved. I want to start seeing more traffic over on the Sergeant Tank Facebook group. So that's what we're going to spend the next hour or so really diving into and discussing. Uh, if this is something uh, that you guys uh, may be interested in. Uh, I don't have a set time of when this is going to be happening. Uh, logistically, we're going to have to figure this out together. Uh, you know, this is something where if we're only going to get five or ten people involved, uh, this is not going to be worth our time uh, whatsoever. So I want to get as most individuals involved as possible. I'm going to kind of give my take and my feedback on different things that I've been brainstorming over the last uh, week or so. And then uh, I definitely want your guys' feedback. So again, if you're watching this during the replay, if you're not into uh, Breeding War Program, BAP, that type of thing, then this may not be the live stream for you. So I'm um, going to be just going through uh, as we, as a chat and as individuals come in, uh, if there's anything uh, unspecific to what we're talking about, um, I'm, you're going to have to let me know down in the comment section below and I'll have to either uh, answer it on another live stream or, uh, you know, so forth that way. I really want to stay focused here. Um, this is something near and dear to me because I really enjoy the aspects of breeding. I really think it gets other individuals involved. Uh, you guys know um, my feedback and my philosophy when it comes to breeding. Uh, I don't advise anybody new, brand new into the hobby to do it. I think that you really need to get your feet wet and just keep a, a fish alive for a year or two. Fish or fishes, whether if it's a uh, species only tank, if it's a uh, cichlid tank, it's a live bearing species tank, it's a community tank, uh, you know, that type of thing. So let's let's see what we got going here in chat. Um, and uh, yeah, so just waiting for a few more folks to roll back in here. Uh, looks like we got 27 in the house right now. So we were close to 40, I think, before this, uh, this hiccup started happening. And uh, but yeah, so if you guys are interested, this is not uh, exclusive to, uh, you know, just the U S this is, I want something to, uh, branch out, you know, uh, outside the States, outside of the United States internationally. Uh, this is going to be something that we're going to have to figure out together, uh, to figure out, uh, not only, this is really not only going to be the aspects of fish keeping, but also keep in mind, this is going to test your guys' skill set and knowledge when it comes to photography and videography, uh, from that standpoint, because, this is not anything that we're doing uh, together, obviously, in person, which most BAP or HAP related uh, things like that are usually with a local club. So that's another aspect of why I want to do this is the simple fact that I hear oftentimes, Jeremy, we don't even have a club in our area. 
And uh, if you guys want to know my thoughts and basis behind the importance of joining a local aquarium club for many, many different reasons, I will link that down in the description below and add an end card so you guys can check out that video. Um, let's see here. I am out. I only do beta, which aren't libraries. Sorry. No problem, Patricia. Um, I do encourage you guys to still listen uh, if you, uh, because if this goes with out hiccups or go successful. I do want to start doing other things down the road, but I figured most individuals, not all, but most individuals really have a focus on live bearing because quote unquote, it does tend to be a little bit more simplistic than non live bearing species. Although I can agree to disagree in certain aspects of it. There's always still the challenges even with live bearing species. So, uh, but yeah, uh, I have a pair of angels that have spawned many times, but they do all the work. I just removed juveniles after a few months to make room for more. Yeah, so obviously they're not a live bearing species. So again, um, any you know cichlids and that type of thing. Really, uh, I like I said, I do encourage you guys to listen to this uh, if you are interested, because I do want to open this up if if we end up rolling this out, and this is a something that we get enough folks you know, involved in. This is something that we're going to have to get out there publicly and start to share because uh, it might be a few months before we can start rolling it out because I am a critic when it comes to evaluating the overall genetic lines and really looking at the characteristics. Uh, so this was something that we're, that I definitely want to do. Uh, so let's say you're breeding guppies. Uh, so we're going to have to figure out something uh, for not only the amount of spawns that somebody's producing, but also I want to have another category for, let's say you pick out person A, person B, C, and so on and so forth, uh, picks out the best genetic line out of that guppy within that class, and then they're going to compete for maybe another award um, against somebody else in, a, in another class similar to that, if that makes sense. So that's why I need to figure out logistically how we can go about doing this. Because uh, I don't want it to be just as how many spawns somebody had. Um, if we look at just that, I would literally have thousands of spawns just in this last year. Um, you know, So I want to make this as simplistic, but yet have fun with it as well. So... If we start getting stressed out with it, it's not worth it to anybody. It's not worth it to me. It's not worth it to you guys. I don't want to see, you know, individuals start arguing about, okay, this is what needs to happen. That's what needs to happen. Um, what I'll start to do is we start to get feedback. So the best thing you guys can do uh, as a community and supporting this is to let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think about it. Would you be interested in it? Um, and uh, at this point, I don't. It doesn't matter to me what live bearing species you have. We'll worry about the logistics of that later. I just want to know if you guys would even be interested in it first and foremost before we even go on to the next phase. Uh, it's just pretty much pointless. If we're only going to get a handful of people uh, to do it, then I don't want to do it. Um, I can't say okay. We have to have at least fifty people. Um, I'm really going to have to figure that out and think about it later on. And then, of course, I will bring on. Um, another group of individuals uh, that um, would fairly be able to help support as well as judge the certain levels of this. And then we're going to have to let it roll for, you know, six months or a year, you know, to give enough opportunity in order for uh, your spawns to happen uh, because of the gestation period and different classes and so forth. And the other thing is, do we focus on just endlers? Do we focus on just guppies? Do we focus on guppies and endlers? I do see some chat and different feedback already as far as, well, I don't have any live bears. Well, this might be an opportunity for you if you feel experienced enough to go ahead and obtain some live bears. Um, so this is what we need to figure out because there's literally hundreds if not thousands of different species and genuses across the board when it comes to live bearing species. So that's where I need your guys' feedback, where we can keep this somewhat simplistic, but yet still have fun with it. And, uh, and then once we devise that, and then we can move, move on to the next phase, okay? 
and then start rolling things out with time frames. This is what you need to get in. This is how long you have to sign up, sign up sheets for it. Um, once, once I can kind of put together and brainstorm and get everybody's feedback and kind of let the majority rule, um, on what we decide to go with. And then that's what we're going to then roll out. And then I'll probably have another live stream, um, following up with this later on, uh, once, once I get enough feedback. So, uh, I will most likely be adding this over on the Facebook group page. I don't oftentimes share, um, my live streams. However, I may share it over on the Sergeant Tank Facebook group because I want to start getting some other folks there that may not be a part of this uh, to also get involved. Uh, you don't have to have a YouTube channel. You don't have to have a following. Uh, the main thing that you're going to have to get familiar with is your photography, your videography, and your overall fish keeping. Those three things right there are going to be key for you. Uh, because you're going to have to show everybody here, especially the ones that will be judging and taking into account the, you know, the different variables in this uh, from that point of view. Uh, so you're going to have to you're going to have to learn your photography skills to capture a good enough high definition image in order to be able to present that to everybody, because you guys are definitely going to have to, whether if it's every three weeks, every two weeks, every four weeks. That's what we're going to have to figure out how often individuals are updating us. And if, if you're, we will come up with, I am definitely a rule by the book person. There's no one between there, uh, especially when it comes to something like this. And then you may be asking yourself, what, what do I get out of it? What you're getting out of it is a satisfaction of knowing that you can breed the, the interaction within the community. Um, I don't know as far as awards or prizes, obviously, since this is something that I'm doing here on the channel, I'll have something fun and engaging for you guys at the end of all of this. You guys know I'm definitely a giving person. I've done my fair share of that already in the past year within this community. Uh, so I am about giving back. We will figure out something. Uh, but it also gets traffic over in the Sergeant Tank because that's the platform that we're going to be util utilizing. That's what I'm going to tell you right now because uh, I would like to see more traffic and more engagement over on the Sergeant Tank Facebook group. Uh, so, again, I will be linking that down in the description below. Uh, if you guys aren't a member of the Sergeant Tank Facebook group, I do advise that, uh, obviously, if you're interested in this, uh, that's where we're going to start sharing more feedback besides the comments in this video. Uh, you know, moving forward. So I want to know right now. So for those folks listening to this in the replay, um, uh, what I'm going to do is just kind of filter through. If I miss something pertinent, if you guys are asking questions outside of this, um, you're going to have to let me know down in the comment section below, and I will uh, touch base on that specific um, topic or question in another live stream. Uh, or I will, if it's simple enough to respond. And, uh, uh, you know, by typing it out, then I'll answer it down in the comments. So, again, I really want to just stay focused on this topic this evening. Uh, let's see. And if I miss anything that's related to this, it's not intentional. Let's go ahead and copy and paste. And, uh, um, and I will answer or I will give the... The response. In my opinion, live bears are great for a younger generation. Nothing is cooler than a little fish uh, that has more little fish right away. Laugh out loud. My wife loves them. See, again, Michael, that's a key point because not only is this for uh, those who are intermediate, advanced, novice, I mean, it really can apply to a lot of different uh, demographics and so forth there. So that's why I was kind of leaning towards live bears because uh, I know a lot of folks, you know, are, are interested in that or already have interest in it or keeping them. Uh, Brad Guppies, Platties, best part of the hobby is babies. Uh, Molly's are what got me, my daughter really into the hobby, lots of fry, and she was amazed. Uh, Joseph said his goal mainly is to figure out a process for which there is a form of community reward uh, award to help uh, grow the interactivity and growth of the community. Live bears are just a great start. Um, so thank you for, for clarifying that, Joseph. Uh, let's see here. Um, <laughs> uh, 
Uh, Vales, yes, I think so. I bred guppies, mollies, and platies too. I'm trying to breed a pair of antlers right now. Uh, Sherry Sweeney is wondering if it's uh, guppies and antlers only. That's what we need to figure out together. Uh, this is not going to happen overnight. This is this is going to be something that we're going to have to strategically devise a plan uh, and really figure out together. And then basically it might come down to where I'm going to have five different, you know, key categories and then the majority is going to have to choose, um, you know, uh, what genus or species that we're going to involve into this program. Because like I said, we all know, and maybe some of you guys aren't aware, if if you're not sure of what specific live bearing species there are, there are literally hundreds upon hundreds of different live bearing species. So um, again, that's why it can be very complex. I want to keep it as simple as possible. So I really feel at this point, my gut tells me is it's going to be narrowed down to a specific class. Um, and uh, if you guys aren't interested in that, at least this is uh, something the food for thought later on. And then we can, if it goes well enough, when we get enough people involved and engaged, uh, because mainly what that's going to do is get individuals not only uh, to be more interactive over on the Sergeant Facebook group, but the entire basis behind is education, uh, encouragement, and uh, really getting other individuals, whether if they're young, old, back into the hobby, into the hobby, uh, and so forth. And then what that will do is that then gives that sense of empowerment to you guys to be able to share uh, via video or through um, imaging to show off your photography and videography as well as your fish keeping skills over there on that platform. Uh, that way you guys can go ahead and share um, and then you guys can work together uh, as far as helping one another, uh, if you need some, maybe some guidance on, you know, and, and maybe a little bit of lift me up on how to go about breeding, uh, whatever we decide to kind of narrow it down to. So I really see a lot of, uh, fun that can come out of it. Um, but yeah, so I'm in the process of rebuilding my fish room, adding another fish room. How many fish won't be here until spring? I can still do it or wait till they come. Uh, I think it is more of a brainstorming session and gauge community response to the concept. Uh, let's see here. Um, I think it's an interesting idea. Need to be selective on type of libraries uh, that are regularly available to the general audience. Not all areas have access to different types of fish. Just a thought. Absolutely. Uh, you mean help people by doing and then teaching them how to breed them in these aquatics? Uh, yep, it's going to, a lot of this stuff I probably have already touched on, so I'm a bit be far behind here in chat. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Bantam Cichlid says, sounds like a good idea. How long to set up? Uh, this is going to, this isn't going to happen overnight, you guys. Uh, this is going to be at least two months out before we would get started because I'm going to give at least a month. Um, it's going to take maybe months, uh, before we can even devise a good plan that's going to go fluent, uh, where we're not going to have a bunch of confusion. And then I'm going to give it at least a month before to give enough folks to sign up for it. Uh, because I'm not going to be having individuals come in 30 or 60 days after the fact. And yes, it's going to be unfortunate for anybody new coming into the community are just going to have to wait for the next round. It is what it is. Now, if we can figure out a way to incorporate it, if somebody is now, you know, a month in, I think we're stretching it. If somebody now comes a week into it, that's what we need to figure out. This is where the brainstorming, this is a complete rough draft. Um, you know, uh, let's see here. I think it's a great idea. It would definitely bring people into the hobby. Of all libraries, I love swords. Uh, very interested in the stream. Welcome back. Uh, bringing Cichlid and Haplack, Moscow guppies. Uh, they're cool to watch grow. Let's see here. We have two types of live bears. Uh, how big a tank of guppies and how many guppies can you have in the tank? I've always had bettas, but would love to breed guppies. Um, again, I don't want to deviate too much away from it, but that there's a lot of variables that go into that. Uh, as far as uh, how big of a tank of guppies, um, it really comes down to filtration, stocking load, bio load, how well you keep up with your water changes. Um, 
yeah, it really, really is a, um, that's a hard, this um, definitive response. It doesn't matter how long you've been in the hobby. Um, Joy, the best thing I can recommend for you is just let me know down in the comment section below specifically what you're looking at, and then I will uh, respond that way. I'll give you a better uh, overall response. Uh, another thing to throw out there is what to do with all the fry. Most people's stores won't take them. Yep, that's uh, exactly the next um, big component to it is what are you going to do with your fry? So uh, let's see here. Well, let's see here. <clears throat> All right. Offer them up to people in the program. Uh, thank you so much, Island Queen, for dropping the link. We got DPK Fitch Aquariums. How you doing, buddy? Um, are, you, are you thinking about something like the BAT program? Yes, but again, I think there's, um, I think there's some missing things in uh, a BAT program depending on where it's coming from. Uh, because, again, if you're talking just, I don't want it to be, um, I'm trying to think how to put this. I don't want just to be spawns. If we focus on just spawns alone, I want it to be more than that. I want to look at, um, I want to look at genetic lines. I want to look at characteristics. I want to look at husbandry. There's different things because the whole basis behind this, as you guys are aware, they've been following this channel for any period of time. I don't want to pro promote negative husbandry or fish keeping. I want to really think about this. And if it takes six months or a year before we start doing it, I want to make sure we have all of our ducks in a row before we actually roll something like this out. Because the last thing I want to see, the internet go viral, when now everybody has thousands of different um, you know, spawns and now they don't know what to do with them. So again, a lot of things that we need to factor in here um, and, uh, and promote good, good fish keeping skills. Um, like I said, this might not be for everybody. Now, what you guys decide to do at the end of the day, I can't control that. Nobody here can control that. Uh, however, I want to make sure we're promoting the right things. Because uh, the last thing I want to see is just a bunch of breeding happen. And now we're getting a bunch of feedback. What do I do with all this stuff? Uh, so that's why a lot of things to really think about. And uh, we need to... Um, that's why I think this is a good, healthy... Uh, it's not, it doesn't have to even be a debate. This isn't a debate. This is a good, healthy conversation uh, that, that we need to have. Or I feel anyway. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. We got Susan for SLC Aquatics in the house. How you doing? Uh, Carlos said, thanks for all the advice. It gave me great ideas. Uh, Gary's Aquatics said, hey, Jeremy, I just want to drop in and say hey, hi. Fish fam, hope uh, have a great night. Come on, people. Let's match the like button. All right. Looks like we have HC Aqua. All right. Looks like I'm at the bottom of the chat. So again, some nice, good, good feedback, you guys. Um, you're going to have to write it down, brainstorm. Um, like I said, uh, this isn't going to be for everybody. Uh, I'm not going to be rolling anything out until I put my stamp of approval on it. Um, I'm very particular. This is definitely going to have to be something that we all follow the rules on. Um, and if it ever started turning into a, um, 
any sense of a discouragement, I will end it faster than we started it. So I'm just throwing it out there right now. Um, once we start getting more activity over on the Facebook page, because that's the platform we're going to have to use. Um, I'm already saying that right now. Uh, this is also to try to get folks over to the Sergeant Tank Facebook group page uh, in order to get them involved. Um, you know, in on that, this part of uh, the hobby. Um, and uh, if we start getting uh, feedback, which I'm not, I'm just throwing it out there. I'm not concerned about you guys here. Uh, but anybody new coming in, um, you know, looking at a setup, the 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 biggest thing to me that I'm seeing a big lack of in this in this community and not singling out anybody is everybody has an opinion to a response uh, that they are either looking for a rise out of it or just want to give an, an opinion. I'm about being proactive, being a teacher. So rather than criticizing and putting somebody down of why are you keeping 150 uh, guppies in a 10 gallon tank, why not give them a solution in order to um, help them with the process rather than just putting them down. So if I see anything start to take place, uh, that specific individual, um, I'm going to have to treat it like I would my own children. Yeah, you're, there's going to be consequences to it. I have a zero tolerance policy. There would be absolutely no warnings to it whatsoever. So if anybody wants to come in and let's say in that hypothetical situation, somebody end up uploading a video or an image of 100 guppies in a 10-gallon tank. If I start seeing negative feedback and not actual viable solutions, because they might not be asking for your feedback. They may very well not be asking for it. But how can you direct and guide in a way that's professional, that's polite and courteous, because they may not literally understand that you can't keep 100 fish in a 10 gallon tank, depending on what they are, of course. And I'm just being hypothetical. Uh, I see too much put down and not enough encouragement and not enough actual viable information in, in, uh, in response. So again, zero talents. I do not give warnings. I don't, I don't believe in it. To me, that's common sense. Um, if you don't have anything nice to say at the end of the day, don't say it at all. Um, I'm here about trying to get individuals to uh, promote good empowerment and um, good husbandry skills when it comes to fish keeping, promote the right aspects of the hobby. Uh, what one person does with success is going to defer from somebody else. So again, we've discussed that on many different live streams and videos and so forth. Um, but yeah. I would say, do you need any advice on anything? If not, then move along. Uh, let's see here. Um, yeah, I think most folks know, especially anybody that knows me personal, I am a zero nonsense kind of guy. I have a backbone like no other. I will speak up and stand out, uh, especially for what I believe. Um, I have no problem with doing that. And uh, that's just in my DNA makeup. Um, I have dealt with the most trolls of trolls way outside anything in this community, in this hobby. So, um, yeah, with that being said, we need to start establishing an environment of success and uh, of good, uh, viable stuff rather than just a bunch of hocus pocus nonsense uh, that I get tired of seeing. Um, too, too many chances is what I see going on, and that's where I want to make a change. Um, so if we only ever have 400 people, and if we have good 400 solid folks over on the Sergeant Tank Facebook page, what I want to say, we have 400, maybe a little bit more than that now. Last time I checked, I think we we're right at 400 members there, is I feel we have 400 solid members where we're going to have zero, zero tolerance for any type of um, negative feedback. Um but yeah, uh, can you tell me if the photography videography can be done from iPhone or need a better camera? Amy, this is where that's a good, good point because I want to start bringing other aspects of this and start to help promote and get out there some good resources, which of course I would recommend um, Jimmy over at uh, So Whiskey Vision is what it is now. Uh, so if you guys aren't a member and I will add a link to that Facebook group page as well as a YouTube channel is I highly recommend that you guys check that out. And uh, really now that can focus your guys' attention and get some traffic um, to support 
uh, that as well as to be able to even more so support you guys in return. Because uh, when it comes to overall videography and photography, this is going to test myself also uh, because I have a lot to learn and uh, Jimmy has a lot to offer. So there's a lot of other resources out there, but that would be the first one I would recommend. Because of course, Jimmy being a part of this community, uh, I think we all need to support one another and uh, what's a better way to do it? Uh, let's see. Um, I think I missed, um, looks like we have uh, Spicy in the house. How you doing? Captain Spicy, how you doing, buddy? Uh, Uh, when there was a fish club here in Toledo, uh, they had something like that, but it was thought a national organization. I just don't remember that organization was. Uh, most aquarium clubs um, are all going to have some form of a uh, bat breeders award um, or a hat program, depending on if you're in the fish or plants or both. Uh, so again, like I said, this isn't going to happen overnight. This is why I want to put this out here now. Uh, this could be springtime before we roll out. It could be next winter. I don't know. You know, I'm just saying, uh, like I said, this is where we need to start working together as a community. And uh, again, to put emphasis on it, uh, looked like there might have been some issues with uh, that link uh, being posted. So give me a couple of minutes here. I'll try to add a link for the Facebook page uh, to ensure that you guys um, are able to go over there if you're not a member. Is this, I ask that you guys, all you're doing is you're validating that you're not a troll, um, uh, you know, at the end of the day. Uh, so um, there's just like two or three basic, basic questions that you have to answer before you can be approved uh, to be a member over there on the Sergeant Tank Facebook page. So like it's not, it's not anything personal. Uh, it's just was getting a lot of uh, trolling behavior. So that's why I had to add just some basic, basic questions. Uh, you don't have to give me your whole life story. Uh, I'm not here to challenge you in that aspect. We're here to lift one another up and encourage each other in this process because uh, we all have something to offer that's viable. Uh, fish and shrimp by Rich. Is this for us that don't have a club? Yeah, that's part of it. That's a that's again a great point to mention. Is I want to make it make it for those folks that don't have a club that don't have that opportunity. I want to make it fun. I want to make it educational. I want folks to be able to help out. Uh, like I said, I want to see more, um, uh, just more overall interaction over on the Facebook group. And if we can, if this is a way to get some interaction there that's that's uh constructive that's not being negative uh where folks at the end of the day can put away you know a part of their time each day each week to put all of the crud that's going on in the world in your own personal life put it off to the side and just focus on breathing uh then hey uh, that's what it's all about uh this is an awesome idea i'd totally be down to participate uh, this is an exciting thing for me because uh, I love fish. My daughter loves videography, photography, uh, and I private message Jimmy. No response for Christmas camera for my daughter. Uh, let's see here. Uh, it's very difficult to drop that much money on equipment. I know nothing about. Yeah, you don't. You don't have to go out and get anything. Most of us have smartphones. Um, so again, yeah, this doesn't have to be some costly thing because I completely understand. Um, and kind of, I, I value every single dollar I do. Um, I know how finances can be very, very difficult. So again, these are all things that we need to think about. Uh, Facebook links don't work in chat for some reason. Uh, let me, let me try one thing, uh, here in just a couple of minutes, you guys. Uh, let's see here. And it just may not be working for whatever reason. Uh, but I will be adding a, a, a link that should work for you guys. So anybody watching this in the replay or after we conclude conclude here, uh, if you just go over to Facebook and you just search Sergeant Tank, you should see our logo pop up and then find it that way. Um, it should pop up for you guys. 
We got Justin Macro in the house. How you doing, buddy? I'm taking a whack at breeding snakeskin guppies. Uh, YouTube is blocking the Facebook links. Um, then it may be something I have in my settings. It could very well be, like I said, um, I'm not utilizing Nightbot. I don't think it's necessary. I tried it out before. For me, Nightbot is just a nightmare unless you know what to do with it. And I just never spend enough time. I think if you have, um, you know, over 300, uh, the moderators do enough, good, good enough job. Um, that I see that Nightbot isn't, I you know, isn't uh, isn't something you need unless you have several hundred different people. Um, but again, I do have a lot of things um, within my settings here on YouTube, uh, so it's possible it could be blocking it that way. Uh, so things I set up just some time back because I was getting some trolling. So. Uh, Cindy Lou Roman says, search Sergeant Tank and it comes on. Yeah, you should have no issues finding it. Just put in Sergeant Tank. Uh, let's see here. Can you just type in the link? Uh, let's see. Is this just on Facebook? Yes, I want to. This is only going to be where once we actually, if we roll it out, I shouldn't say when, but if, if we roll this out, if we decide as a community, and like I said, if we don't get a good enough idea and plan together, um, then I really, really want to think this out. Uh, I want to make sure that we have something solid in place, something engaging. Uh, and yes, we will be utilizing the Sergeant Tank Facebook page uh, to you use that as a platform um, uh, to support one another. Uh, Griffin's Aquatic said, thanks for the stream. Thanks so much for popping in. Uh, I've tried in the computer, my phone, uh, microphone, and my laptop, and it won't let me link to Facebook. Um, I'm tired, laugh out loud. Uh, see if mine work, Kayla. All right, give me just a second, you guys. Let me see if I can, if it'll work for me. If not, like I said, just go over to Facebook and uh, put in Sergeant Tank in the search bar, and it should pop up. But let me see if I can do something here. <laughs> All right, I'm going to be dropping a link here. Give that link a go. Um, hopefully that works for you guys. I can actually test it right now, hopefully. Uh, so let me see. Let me see right now if that works. If it's working on my end. Okay, page not found. Hmm. Link you follow may be broken or removed. Yeah, sorry, you guys. Just search. Only takes a second. Easiest thing you guys can do is just search it. Just put in Sergeant Tank, you should find it. So, just so we don't have any confusion, I'll go ahead and remove that link there. All right. Um, yeah, there might be something to my knowledge. Like I said, I might have something set here in Facebook or YouTube. Uh, there could be something that I'm completely missing that I'm out of the loop on. Um, I know we've done it before in the past and it's worked. Like Priscilla saying, it's YouTube. Could very well be. Uh, like I said, I'm a little behind here. Um, and uh, yeah, but uh, let's see here. So for the next 20 minutes or so, I don't want to push this much beyond um, uh, an hour. But um, So, yeah, I don't want to push this much beyond an hour or so. So I really like to, for any folks listening to this now in um, in the playback, uh, once this is processed and uploaded, I would like uh, some ideas here, um, some good ideas uh, that I can kind of announce since I don't have chat up on the screen. Um, so what do you guys think? I mean, uh, what is some good, good feedback on this? Uh, what's your guys' thoughts? Um, because I really like to uh, get your guys' support in this because I'm not going to be able to do it alone. This is not possible. Uh, let's see here. Yes, uh, Priscilla said, nice shirt. If you guys aren't aware, this is Priscilla MK Arts. Um, if you want to drop your link, Priscilla, so if anybody 
uh, wants to check out. I think you might be running a special on some of your artwork right now, and you might be adding some more to your artwork, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but this is the Fish Fam. I'm not even sure. Let us know if these are even still available um, and so forth. But, yeah, definitely check it out. I'm here to support, um, you know, in, in and uh, this is just a lovely picture uh, that was put onto a t-shirt. So let's see. We are at 400 members. I think there should be more than 400. The, the last I checked, unless some people fell out um, or got removed for whatever reason. But... Um, yeah, and then this will also give an opportunity as that as that grows. I will have to start um, adding some more uh, moderators to the Facebook page, so that'll give you guys an opportunity um, to be a part of that if you want to. Uh, Michael Trevino, thank you so much. Have a great evening. Let's see. So again, quick recap, <clears throat> not get much feedback. It looks like right now in chat is this is what we need to figure out. Um, a type of online community, fish keeping related community, um, breeder or breeding awards program for those folks not only here in the United States but also internationally where we can utilize the platform over on Sergeant Tank Facebook group in order to show off our pictures, show off our videos, show off our tanks, get the feedback that you need, get the support that you need uh, and really just a lot of different aspects to it. We need to figure out different classes uh, do we narrow this down to just guppy lines? Do we narrow it down to guppies and endlers? Because there's literally hundreds upon hundreds of different live bearing species. So I think it's going to be very, very difficult and make it fair. Uh, because one person might say, okay, do we have to purchase all of our fish initially from one source? Uh, do What if we're already breeding? So this is going to have to be something that you start up a new tank with a trio, reverse trio. So this is the things that we need to figure it out from the get-go before we roll it out. So once folks are signing up, that they'll have 30 days, let's say, to sign up. You'll have plenty of time then to put money aside to get the appropriate setup that you need to figure out and devise a plan because uh, that's going to come down to you guys. We can't control that. What are you going to do with the fish once you breathe them? Uh, how are you going to rehome them? Because I want to promote good husbandry skills and just being an overall good aquarist. I don't want to promote any negativity um, and get any backlash on this due to the fact logistically this could just turn into you know um, a cluster of a mess um, if we don't figure out something solid. So and if I don't feel comfortable enough at the end of the day with it, I'm not going to roll it out here. But, hey, it's giving you guys some ideas at least um, to to maybe do something with it. Captain Savage said, let's see here. We got Captain Savage Aquatics in the house. How you doing, buddy? Make sure to hit the like button. Well, thank you so much. Uh, let's see here. Okay. As I said earlier, anything you need hand with, just hit me up and I can help out any way needed. Thank you so much, uh, Joe. I really appreciate it. Let's see. So yeah, I mean, it's going to have to be something to make it fair that we all start fresh together. You know, this is in, uh, do we use, do we, do we say, okay, a 20 long, you know, we all must use a 20 long. So we need to make sure it's fair, consistent, that we're being transparent. We're going to have to figure out how often, once and if we roll this out, how often we have to update. Uh, and if we're not s sticking to the rules that will be in place, it will be very specific on the rules. When it comes to something like this, I'm very about the rules, not in between. Um, so, you know, there won't be any hidden, you know, hidden, hidden areas there. So, but yeah. Uh, 20 long sounds great. Yeah, I want to promote uh, something, like I said, 
that especially anybody new getting into the hobby you guys all know that have been following this long enough I've talked about this plenty of times i don't and i'm not an advocate for anybody new coming into the hobby that hasn't even kept a fish tank um for at least a year if not two years um and i'm not trying to single anybody out but i'm just need to add that there i'm not going to sit here and start doing a background check on anybody coming into this because at the end of the day i can't control what you do you can't control what i do you know, this person's going to ultimately do what they're going to do at the end of the day anyways, but I just need to make that clear. Um, I always suggest just enjoy your tanks if you're new getting into the hobby. Um, but, you know, with that being said, if, you know, there's people that pick up on it faster than others, you might be in the hobby for six months and figure out, hey, I'm ready to go ahead and start breeding. Um, but I would encourage those that want to get involved in it, um, have a basic knowledge and understanding of how to keep a fish tank and how to keep things alive. Um, you know, so it doesn't turn into something to where how many guppies should I keep in a 20 gallon tank? You know, if we start getting that feedback, that tells me right away that person needs to get more knowledgeable and more experienced in the overall fish keeping aspect of it. Learning, what can coexist with one another, learning how to keep something established, a good ecosystem established, uh, then that would be something that we would have to do in a different format. Um, but this is really focused on those who have some good grasp and experience on fish keeping skill set um, to, to know what they're doing. Because if it turns into something um, and I'm not, I'm not saying by no means, I, I definitely encourage anybody here, if you're new into the hobby, that's what it's all about. So let me make that very, very clear. I'm not steering anybody away from, uh, you know, showing, um, you know, us images or, or video or whatever it is on the Sergeant Tank Facebook page, um, you know, to, um, to kind of get uh you know familiar with certain things and, and that's that's not at all what i'm trying to do but once we roll this out uh that's what we're going to have to figure out because i don't want it to turn into something you know um i see that too much and to me if if somebody's asking something very very basic how many fish can go into this tank what fish should i keep that tells me that person just isn't educated. It's not knocking on that person. We've all been there. I've been there myself many years back getting into the hobby. Um, it all just takes time. Uh, there's definitely different resources for that. I've, I've talked about that in different live streams. Uh, I've talked about it in different videos. I've talked about how to set up another tank. I've done videos on how to set up a tank. I've done videos and talked about the nitrogen cycle, but you don't even have to take you know, don't take my word for it. Do your due diligence. Do your research. There's plenty of content out there for that. Uh, but yeah. So, which breed are you leaning towards? Um, I that's that's where I need your guys' feedback. Uh, again, this is where I really, really encourage you guys after this is processed and uploaded uh, to let me know down in the comments and also over on Facebook. Probably more so right now. Use this as a platform since I will be uploading this once it processes here on YouTube, and then I can also share it over on Facebook. Uh, but it sounds like there's some logistical issues right now because I know maybe even me mentioning face Facebook could be demonetized um, because of the the issues here on YouTube. Let's just point it out. Uh, but uh, yeah, so, you know, one platform doesn't necessarily, they're competing, which I do understand that from a business standpoint, it makes sense. You know, YouTube is one platform. Facebook is their own platform. Um, you know, they're they're both competing at the end of the day. So it's like one bo big box retailer is competing with another big box retailer. So um, there's nothing set in stone right now as far as which live bearing species or genus of family that we're focused on. Uh, right now, this is just getting a rough draft in place. Uh, and then what it and then if we can get enough people engaged here in comments to get your guys' feedback over the ne the next month or two uh, to start getting um, uh, enough people involved and engaged and then we can take it to the next phase which will then figure out uh, what species what family of liber that we're going to focus on and it might come down to three it might come down to five i won't do it much more than that 
and then we'll have to place a vote on it uh, is what it's going to come down to. And then which, whatever one wins through a community vote is what we're going to go with. Uh, I want to make this fair. Uh, and you know what? It is what it is. So, uh, you know, it's, it's not twist anybody's arm. You don't have to be a part of this. Um, at the end of the day, nobody's forcing anybody to do anything. This is really just trying to get and trying to promote uh, some next levels here to the hobby and something that's definitely near and dear to me, as most of you guys are aware, and maybe you're not because you might be new to this channel. And that is really the aspects and the therapeutic aspects when it comes to not only keeping fish, but also um, breeding. So uh, it's definitely near and dear to me. I don't have a 20 long, but I do have a 20 high. Would that not qualify? AC Aqua, we haven't decided the logistics um, of what size tank, uh, what that's going to look like right now. So right now, the main focus, the initial phase is I want, and if I'm not getting any comments and very little feedback over the next 30 or 60 days, I will try to promote this. I do uh, recommend that you guys go ahead and share uh, to get that out there um you know to to other folks uh within the community to try to get other people involved uh because i want to make this a community effort and uh make it make it engaging uh, a few months back when i went to my local fish store looking around the worker had never heard of endlers uh it could just be yeah i mean probably new <laughs> um you know we we gotta just uh sometimes um just kind of not not you know look at it as a prideful thing but just kind of put our put our pride aside and and uh you know i've been in local fish stores before where i've seen things you know uh misclassified and i politely you know if i felt like it would be something from a business standpoint understanding business and the the negative effects that can happen on that i use ultimately my gut without being judgmental and just offer some some polite in professional feedback on hey i just want to give you a heads up uh there there might be something here that you want to take a look into you know don't take my word for it necessarily but you know this this uh doesn't look like you know this and and be certain they actually know what you're talking about before you open up that can of worms and again you know i'm not i'm not trying to be uh an advocate that you need to start going in and critiquing and criticizing uh your local fish store however I think we've all been in that place, um, you know, where, where things have been. And I myself included. I mean, I brought things in the past to a club. Um, and sometimes I agree to disagree. However, for instance, there was an African cichlid. And that person looked at the African cichlid and decided the way it was classified wasn't necessarily that specific variant of that African cichlid. And considering that that individual had way more experience with that specific line and that species of fish uh, that I had to then, um, you know, ensure was that information accurate. And then once I came into agreement and realized, hey, this could be very well be, um, you know, uh, something here that that isn't necessarily being being classified the way it should be, then I went ahead and just made that known. Um, but there's not a one of us in this hobby that can that that is perfect at anything and I'll be the first one to admit it. Um, we can all point out certain things and, uh, and you know, we all, we all have flaws. We all are learning. Uh, that's what I enjoy so much about this, this hobby, uh, that there's, there's so many different ways to get to, uh, to a successful re result. Sometimes, you know, persons a and person B and C, uh, maybe person A gets to the finish line a little bit for, faster than person B and C. However, that's the whole basis around this community and this focus is to not criticize and not give backlash and negativity. Uh, there's just very poor, poor communication skills, especially on the interwebs when things are being conveyed in a manner uh, ultimately, you have to realize life is always based on perception. And I'm not here to sit here and try to give you guys a pep talk, but that kind of ties into the whole basis behind this is good promotion of positivity and good, viable feedback. Is I want to see viable feedback 
not like, okay, you shouldn't be doing this, you shouldn't be doing that. If anybody has ever worked in business, and I know myself being in a supervisor role for a lot of years and dealing in a multi-billion dollar company, is if you go to your boss and you just say, hey, this is wrong, they're going to laugh at you. You have to bring a solution to that specific situation or solutions and then sit down. They're going to definitely listen to you a lot better when you actually have a solution rather than just pointing out the obvious. Um, you know, and again, uh, that's just something that obviously we won't tolerate, um, tolerate there, but yeah, well, let's see here. Kayla C said, I think at least half of us can get her at least a four to 10 gallon versus a 20 long, just the insight. Uh, let's see here. Uh, we should do a 10. Not everyone um, uh, has room for a 20. I mean, I I will push back a little bit. It's hard for when, and again, I, I'm not trying to give some pep talk here, but this is, what, this is where majority is going to have to come in, but yet I'm going to use some overall life experience considering the fact I've been in the hobby for a long time, and I want to promote because I don't want to go against my philosophy, especially when you're talking, some of the live bearing species may not be appropriate in a 10 gallon environment. Is I've been one to promote minimum tank size um, is 20, but again, I do breed things in a 10 gallon, but I know what I'm doing. I know how to keep things alive. Um, so again, that's what we need to figure out as a community. Is it appropriate to do a 10 gallon? Now from a cost standpoint, I mean, an extra 10 bucks, you know, uh, and I'm not, I'm not trying to get on anybody's finances or anything like that or try to control what you guys do. That's your guys' business at the end of the day, and I can't, can't control that. But, uh, you know, I find it difficult. You know, like I said, we will give plenty of time. Um, you know, if you're going to McDonald's, if you're going to Starbucks, Starbucks coffee alone, I'm not a fan of Starbucks. But, hey, if you go to Starbucks, let's say that's five or six bucks. I mean, if you cut out three of those, there's your tank. Um, you know, but yeah, we want to try to figure out a way, uh, how we can do this, uh, cost effective and, uh, and make, make it fair. You know, um, like I said, I don't want to turn, I don't want to, I don't want to see this turn into something, uh, where people are getting stressed out over it. And if I start seeing that, I won't even, I'm not even going to roll it out. Or if we start it and I start seeing a bunch of negativity and this just turns into one big headache. I'm going to end it and I can't make that clear enough because the last thing I want to see is we bring a community together and now people are getting frustrated and lost and so forth. Um, but yeah. All right. Uh, AC Aqua said, I'm excited. I hope I can participate. Let's see here. Uh, let's see here. If you're going to do a 10 gallon uh, challenge, you should be able to use whatever 10 gallons you can find, even if it's two fives. So again, another point um, to to think about is what size tank, how many tanks uh, to uh, equivalent to whatever total gallon size that we have. Um, you know, again, I know from a logistical standpoint. Um, I'm not going to be promoting a 10 gallon tank with guppies. I'm just not going to do it. Um, I'm going to make that very clear right now because now what you guys do at the end of the day um, is up to you guys as far as what you're breeding. But now are you going to be able to be involved um, in that program if you're using, um, you know, a 10 gallon tank? And, you know, again, I'm trying to encourage you guys to show and establish good husbandry and I'm being this is why I don't show a lot of tanks you guys um, the reason that is is that the interwebs will give so much backlash because you they don't understand the fact that if I keep let's say a trio or a pair of endlers or a pair of guppies depending on what strain it is in a 10 gallon 
I have literally five or if not 10 redundant tanks, either equivalent to that same size or larger of that same genetic line that I'm utilizing as grow out tanks. That's why I have over 70 tanks and that doesn't include fry racks. It's because I don't have a, a ton. It's not like I have a hundred different species of fish. It's I have, let's say 10 or 15 different species of fish, but I'm utilizing those as all grow out tanks that I've talked about plenty of times on previous live streams. So again, I want to ensure that we're promoting the right thing. And, um, the reason I don't really want to focus on invertebrates, uh, you know, of course, you know, your basic cherry shrimp or neocaridinia or caridinia lines uh, being technically a live bearing species is the fact that there's already programs in place with that um, within the community. So I don't want to focus on that. I want to switch things up. I want it to be geared towards fish. And this just might turn into too much of a headache where we all decide at the end of the day, hey, it was fun to talk about. It was a food for thought, but maybe it's just not best right now. Um, like I said, you know, if it takes us a year to figure out the appropriate thing, then that's what it takes. Um, but I, it needs to start somewhere. Um, if the thought isn't out there and we don't start discussing it now, is it ever going to happen? So, um, it's something that's been weighing on my mind for a bit of time now. And, uh, that's why I just need your guys' help. Uh, we got JH Aquatics in the house. How you doing? Uh, if the tank's under 50 gallons, I don't want to know about it. Let's see. All right. Uh, good point, Jeremy, because sore tails and platies get big. Yep. Um, cost isn't an issue for me. Uh, it's just a space. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Dollar per gallon. But again, you have to keep in mind um, the fact that I know like in Hawaii or Australia or other places, because this would be an international thing or even like um, the UK and so forth. I mean, things are expensive. We have the privilege here in the States to where things in all practicality are way more simple for us from a financial standpoint. Those places don't have, I want to say, if JH is still here, let us know what is a tank, what is a standard like Aquion 10 gallon tank go for, or something, or even a 20 gallon there in um, the islands. Um, because I'm curious to know. Like in the Virgin Islands, what is it there? Because I remember you telling me, uh, but I just don't recall what it costs. Just to kind of put it in perspective, uh, that things do do tend to cost a lot more. Uh, yeah, when you're when you're outside of that, not everybody has um, uh, the dollar per gallon in every state here in the United States either. So it just depends on the area. Uh, you should just do a challenge under 20 gallons. Let's see. Uh, White said, I like 55s or bigger. Uh, I have two pairs of guppies, and I keep them at a 10, but the fry out to another tank. Let's see here. I think it's a great idea, but I must go to bed now. Early call. We'll look forward to hearing more about this idea. Good night, all. Uh, Kelly, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh, 225 bucks. So that puts it in perspective. So big, big difference. Good night, everyone. Work in the morning. Uh, you have good ideas. Well, thank you so much, Patricia. Have a great night. Uh, let's see. All right. I'm um, just making sure I'm not overlooking anything here, you guys. Uh, Island Queen said a 20-gallon starter tank at PetSmart is $150 here in Canada. Uh, JH Aquatic said I get a 20, ma 20 Marineland for 100 140 bucks on Amazon with shipping. 
Uh, let's see here. In Island Flax, 15 gallons, 110 bucks. Uh, Fitch Tropic said, which you must be referring to Canada. Uh, White said, I like my 120 gallon, but the 55 is as low as I like to go. Still enough space to do uh, what I like to do. Uh, thanks, Jason. I'll keep an eye out for it. Uh, what's the exchange exchange rate? So, hopefully, I didn't miss anything. Again, that's the fortunate thing. Um, after these are processed and uploaded, uh, you can definitely um, let me know down in the comments what you guys think and what your feedback is. So, with that being said, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and uh, wrap this up. Um, and I want to appreciate you guys' time and uh, feedback, and I look forward to seeing where this goes uh, sometime in the future. So one more thing here, and then we'll wrap this up. So Tina is wondering, uh, so what is the end goal? It may be easier to discuss uh, the setup and rules if you start at what the end goal would be. Not sure if I'm explaining what I'm asking laugh out loud. Uh, before we get too far into what the end goal is, I want to make sure in all practicality, uh, I don't want to, it, just for a lack of better words, uh, in no offense, uh, hopefully, um, the way this comes off, is I don't want to waste my time um, in explaining what all the logistics of the rules are going to be until we focus on is this in all practicality even something that can be feasible uh, to accomplish even the phase of starting to devise a plan of what the goal is. So if you're asking me in general, my desire rather than a goal is to get other individuals involved into the community, into the Facebook group page over at Sergeant Tank uh, to get that engagement rate with, fo with positive um, and uh, constructive feedback where you guys can help one another uh, when it comes to uh, breeding aspects of it um, to just kind of help, help just engage. It's all about engagement. Uh, so this is a way, and also on the other side of that, for individuals that don't have the luxury of having a local aquarium or fish club near them, uh, this gives them an opportunity in order to be a part of something um, within a community setting. So hopefully that makes sense, you guys. So take care, and we'll see you guys on the next one.